Welcome to the Creative Pugsley. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a Halloween party flyer design and affinity photo. We'll use and combine elements from different images to create this design. Although this design is for Halloween, you can apply some of these same steps to create other types of flyer designs. First, go to File New. Go to Print and select the A4 size document, which is 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters or 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches. Set the DPI to 72. If you plan on printing your design, set the DPI to 300 and change the color format to CNYK8. Next, go to File Open and click and drag the sky image onto the document. Then close the dialog box. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Also, turn on snapping in the toolbar. Take the image and resize it the way you see it on the screen with the Move tool. To zoom out, press Ctrl and the minus key. Press Ctrl and zero to fit the document back onto the screen. With the sky image still selected, click the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a mask onto the sky image. Now, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Then, go to the Brushes panel. Select one of the round soft brushes. In the context toolbar, set the flow to 30%. Make sure the mask layer is selected. Take the brush and mask out some of the bottom part of the sky. We're doing this to remove the straight line that the image forms. After that, go to File Open and select the image of the moon. Grab the elliptical marquee tool from the Tools panel. Press the shift key, then take the tool and draw a selection of the moon. It's okay if your selection doesn't cover the whole moon. Now, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection of the moon onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Once you've done that, copy the new layer and paste it onto the flyer document. Take the move tool and resize the moon the way you see it on the screen. After that, go to the alignment panel and select align center and click apply. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and make a selection of the woman. Press the right bracket key to increase the brush size. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. If you select an area you don't want selected, press the Alt key and go over the area to remove it from the selection. Press Ctrl and J to place the selection of the woman onto a new layer. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon. Select the HSL Adjustment. I want to remove some of the reddish-pinkish color from her face. In the Master channel, set the Hue Shift to negative 10 degrees and the Saturation Shift to 1%. Go to the Red channel. Set the Hue Shift to 1 degree and the Saturation Shift to negative 14%. Then go to the Yellow channel. Set the Hue Shift to 13 degrees. After that, go to the Cyan channel and set the Hue Shift to negative 13 degrees. Once you've done that, go to the Blue channel. Set the Hue Shift to 21 degrees and the Saturation Shift to 15%. These changes also add a little more black to the woman's hat. Go to the Layers panel and drag the HSL adjustment into the woman layer. Then, copy the woman layer with the adjustment inside and paste it onto the flyer document. Take the Move tool and resize the woman image the way you see it on the screen. Place the woman in front of the moon. Now, go to File and Open and select the pumpkin picture. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and make a selection of the pumpkin on the left side. Then, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Next, copy the pumpkin and paste it onto the flyer. Take the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Rotate the pumpkin at 6 degrees to straighten it some. Place the pumpkin on the right side of the woman. Then, press Ctrl and J two times to make duplicates of the pumpkin. 
After that, press shift. Take the move tool and drag the first duplicated pumpkin to the middle of the woman. Then take the move tool and drag the second duplicated pumpkin on the left side of the woman. With the second duplicated pumpkin still selected, right click on it and go to transform flip horizontally. Then select all three pumpkins and press Ctrl and G to group them together. Now go to file open and drag the image of the bird and the batch onto the document. Then close the dialog box. Select the bird image. Then resize it with the move tool the way you see it on the screen and place it on top of the left pumpkin. In the layers panel, drag the bat layer beneath the layer of the woman. Then resize the image, making it smaller. Place the bats on the left side of the woman. Rotate the image by 10 degrees. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the bats. Right click on it and go to transform, flip horizontally. Then press shift and drag the duplicated bats to the right side of the moon. Rotate the bats to negative 19 degrees. After that, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. Drag this layer to the bottom of everything. This will be part of the background. Label the layer Background. Grab the Gradient tool from the Tools panel. Make sure the new layer is selected. Then take the tool and click and drag from the woman's lips to the mouth area of the pumpkin in the middle. Once you've done that, click the white color stop. Then double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Change the white color to the following hex code, 74777C. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Curves Adjustment. I want to add a little green to the overall image. Go to the red channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly down to the right. Next, add a point to the left side on the curve and drag it down some to the right. Now add a point up the curve and bring it slightly down. Now go to the green channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly up. Label this layer green. Click on the adjustments icon again and add another curves adjustment. This time we'll add some blue to the flyer. Go to the red channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it down and to the right. Next, go to the green channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly up. Now, add a point on the left side on the curve and drag it up some. Then, add a point further up the curve and drag it slightly up. Go to the blue channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up and to the right. Now, add a point on the left side on the curve and drag it up. Then, add a point further up the curve and drag it slightly up. And the Layers panel, label this layer blue. We'll now add some fog to the Halloween flyer design. Download the fog brushes from the link in the description of the video. Click the free download button. Once the brush is download, go to the file. Right click on the file and select Extract All. After that, right click on the file and select Open with Affinity Photo if the file is not an Affinity Photo file. In the Layers panel, click the Add Picture Layer icon to add a new layer. Drag this layer beneath the Woman layer. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Next, go to the Brushes panel and locate the Fog Brushes labeled Free Fog Photoshop Brushes 4. You can choose the Fog Brush you want to use. I chose the fourth brush. Now go to the Swatches panel. Double click the Fill Color to bring up the Color Chooser. Set the Fill Color to the following hex code. 7BC5C2. With the brush still active, go to the context toolbar. Set the flow to 70% and the hardness to 50%. Also, you may need to decrease the brush size, which you can do by pressing the left bracket key. Take the brush and click on the document to add the fog. I clicked three times to intensify the fog, but that's optional. Label this layer fog in the layers panel. Grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle beneath the pumpkins. In the Layers panel, drag this rectangle layer beneath the pumpkin layer. Then go to the Filters menu. Select Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels. The layer will turn to a pixel layer. 
Now we can add some text to the Halloween flyer design. Grab the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and click at the top of the flyer. Type Club Vibe Presents in all caps, or you can use whatever club name or company name you want and the word presents. Then go to the font family and select the font you want to use for your text. I'm using Helvetica New Regular and I set the color of the text to the following hex code, E5, E5, E5. Make sure this text is at the top of everything in the layers panel. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text layer. Now type the word Halloween in all caps. Place this text above the woman's head and enlarge the text. Then go to the font family and choose a font. Use the type of Halloween font for this. I chose a font called Ghoulish, which you can download from the link in the description of this video. Set the color of the text to 1658FE. With the text box still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text. Type the word PARTY in all caps. Place this text beneath the word Halloween on the right side and make it slightly smaller. Grab the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Then type SUN in all caps for Sunday. Go to the font family and set the font to Helvetica Regular or whatever font you use for the Club Vibe Presents text. I made the text the same color as the other text too. Place the text beneath the word Halloween on the left side and make it small. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate this text. Then type OCT in all caps for October. Place this text below the word SUN. After that, press Ctrl and J again to duplicate the text. Type 31. Set the color of this text to the same color as the word Halloween. Then go to the font family and set the font to the Halloween font you use. Place the text next to Sun in October on the right side and make it slightly bigger. Select the Club Vibe Presents text. Press Ctrl and Shift with the Move tool and drag a copy of this text beneath the pumpkins. Click on the text and type Live Music by DJ Ghost in all caps. Grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and draw a rectangle underneath the text we just added. Go to the Swatches panel and double click on the Fill color to bring up the color chooser. Set the color of the rectangle to the following hex code, DFA62C. Now select the Live Music text box. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text. Place the duplicated text beneath the rectangle. Type entry $25. Make the text smaller and place it on the left side. Next, grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw a circle next to the entry $25 text. Select the entry $25 text. Press Ctrl and Shift. Then with the move tool, drag a copy of the text on the right side of the circle. Type doors open 9 p.m. Now press Ctrl and Shift. With the Move tool, click on the circle and drag a copy of it on the right side of the text we just added. Do these steps to add the rest of the text and circles to the flyer like you see it on the screen. The address for the club is 9th Avenue, Manhattan, New York, 1015. The phone number is 212-497-5688. And the website is clubvibe.com. Take the Move tool and rotate the moon image 135 degrees. And this is how to create a Halloween party flyer design in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.